When you first log into a FileMaker file, you'll find yourself in browse mode. You'll know that you're in browse mode when you see this status toolbar across the top of your screen. Now you're going to use browse mode to do most of your work, including all data entry and viewing of records. In browse mode, you can also add records or delete records, either by using the buttons that you see here in the status toolbar, or you'll notice that all of these buttons also have corresponding menu items along with quick keys. Browse mode is also where you can view and edit records. And in the case of editing records, all you need to do is click inside of a field and start editing. You can even format the data in a field by selecting it, choosing your formatting toolbar, and applying your editing. Now, if you find yourself unable to edit data in a field, it's likely because either the developer of your app added some security settings to prevent editing, either through the field behaviors or in the files app security settings, or the field itself is either calculation or summary data type. When you're done editing, there's no need to save your changes because FileMaker Pro saves all your data as you work. This is called committing data. Now, data is committed either when you click outside of a field in a record or press enter on your keyboard. And also when you switch to another mode or view another record, or even when you navigate to another layout. Now you may have noticed that in one layout, like the one here, we're seeing one record at a time. And in another layout, we're seeing many records. This is because these layouts were set up as different views. You can display a layout using one of three different views. In FileMaker Pro, you can select the different views from the view menu across the top of the screen. You'll see those three options listed here, or you'll also see these buttons in the status toolbar. If you want to view and modify records individually, you'll use form view. Though you might have multiple records in the found set like we do here, with form view, you would only see one record at a time in your layout. Form view is generally reserved for layouts that are intended to display one record at a time, kind of like the client details layout in this example. But for layouts where you want to see multiple records on screen at the same time, you'll want to use list view. When you're viewing as a list, you see a scrollable list of records in list view. You can scroll up and down to browse through the records. The number of records that you're seeing at any given time really depends on the structure of the layout. When you're in list view, you can click or tap any one of the records to make that the current record. You'll also have the option to choose table view. People who use spreadsheets will discover that table view looks really familiar. Data fields are represented as columns and records are represented as rows. And in the header, you can do things like sort or group your data or even create charts. This view is ideal for seeing as much of your data on screen as possible. In the upper left-hand corner of your status toolbar, you'll find record navigation controls. These tell you how many records are in the table that your layout is based on. For example, in the client list layout, this tells me that there are 31 records in my app. If I clicked orders, you'll see that there are 10 records in the order table. It also tells me that we're on record number three out of 31. Now, if we choose records and omit records, you'll notice something changed in the record navigation controls. This is what's called a found set. We still have 31 records in the client table, but only 30 of them are found. And found sets are meaningful when it comes to certain functions, like printing, for example. In that case, FileMaker will only print all of the records in the found set. So in this case, if we went to print, it would only print 30 of the records, not all 31 of the records. Also, when you want to sort records, you can use the sort button in the status toolbar or the menu item or corresponding quick key. And FileMaker will let you pick which fields or field combinations you'll want to use to reorder your data. But keep in mind that it will only reorder the records in your found set. If you want to go back to seeing all of the records in your table be in your found set, you can always just choose the Show All button in the status toolbar or use the corresponding menu options. When first getting familiar with FileMaker Pro, understanding browse mode is a great place to start since all the users of your app will also be using browse mode to do most of their daily work, including data entry and editing of your records.